Now we have come in special remarks from His Excellency the Governor General, Sir Arthur Folks. Give him a round of applause as he comes to the stage. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. John and I welcome you to Government House for this ceremony marking the premiere of the second season of Gippy's Kingdom. Bahamians have always been devoted to art generally and the entertainment arts in various forms. But it seems to me that over the last two decades or so, we have been experiencing what I regard as a sort of renaissance in Bahamian artistic expression. As you know, the dramatic arts in the West evolved over the centuries from the great open theaters of Athens to the venerable edifices of London's West End to the spectacular playhouses of New York's Broadway to the movie sets of Hollywood and now the various social and other media wrought by successive advances in technology and communications. But I believe that the basics remain much the same. The art of the storytellers and playwrights and the art of the thespians supported by a host of others from old-fashioned stage hands to modern videographers, all under the direction and producers who boast their own gifts and artistic vision. The Bahamas has produced over the years many storytellers and playwrights of whom we can be proud. I believe the late Eugene de Puch was the first to take Bahamian drama in the Bahamian vernacular to the electronic medium of radio. My generation glued our ears and our imagination to the radio on those evenings when Mr. DePuch's character, Smokey Joe, regaled us with his view of the state of affairs in the country as represented by his fictional family and the politicians of the day who were the victims of his acid satire. In later years, we were entertained by the creation of another very talented Bahamian when Jeannie Thompson also took to radio with our Ferguson's of Farm Road. Ms. Ferguson also made use of the Bahamian vernacular, but with a full cast of characters as opposed to Ms. Mr. DePuch's one-man production. And today, we enjoy the creation of yet another talented Bahamian as Ian Strong's Gippy's Kingdom became the first ever televised Bahamian dramatic series and from all accounts a very successful production. Gippy's Kingdom exhibits outstanding talent through its writer, director, uh, actors, musicians, and technical crew. It also shares the kind of stories to which many Bahamians can relate but have never had a chance to see on screen. Now, it is very important that we see ourselves on this very powerful medium, television. Because if we only see others, some of us will begin to think we are them. And that our lot is only to mimic others rather than to appreciate the native genius that is our own and the native stew that is of our own making. The series tells the story of three generations of the Gibson family. Life experiences and social issues common to Bahamians are explored in each episode. Children born into various circumstances, violence and juvenile delinquency, crime and justice, and most of all, the power of love. Gippy's Kingdom is a lively, funny, moving series written and directed by Dr. Strawn who partners with co-producer, director, photographer, photography, and editor Trevon Patton. Both gentlemen 
our talented Bahamians with impressive achievements. I applaud their leadership and vision, and I am sure that those they partner with behind the scenes and in front of the camera are all dedicated to producing a high quality and enjoyable series. The Gippies Kingdom series features a cast of over 30, looked like there was more than that on the stage, <laughs> working through a variety of plots and subplots that will keep Bahamian viewers glued to their seats and coming back for more. I understand that even the actors do not know how the series ends. According to Albert Einstein, the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and science. Human beings, for all the study of anthropology, are still a very mysterious lot. And we Bahamians are certainly no exception. The extraordinary thing about mystery is that while it is knowable, it may not be fully knowable. So even as we explore the mystery, the ironies, and the humor resident in us as Bahamians specifically, and as humans generally, there is still so much left to explore, which is what in the, which is what in the end <coughs> makes for great art and quality entertainment. I am confident that Dr. Strawn's talent and his insight into the Bahamian psyche, along with the talent of his collaborators, will continue to fascinate us and perhaps teach us a little more about ourselves. I congratulate all of you on a successful first season and wish you every success and the support of the community as you launch your second season. And I should also like to add to commend to, and thank the various sponsors for supporting this aspect of our cultural development. Thank you. So, so Arthur, I want to present you, if you will, with uh, a copy of the first season of Gippy's Kingdom. Thank you so much for... Can I have an advance of the second season? <laughs> <laughs> it made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.